بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah alone We praise Him, we thank Him, we seek His guidance and His forgiveness We repent to Him We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds Whosoever Allah guides, none can mislead And whosoever Allah misleads, none can guide A bearer, a witness that there is no deity worthy of worship but Allah And a bearer a witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his last messenger. Dear viewers, welcome to the best of knowledge. The ulama or the scholars have said that the best of knowledge, the best of knowledge is the knowledge that will enable you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. The knowledge that will make you fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and heedful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The knowledge that will make you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. And inshallah ta'ala in this uh, series we'll be talking about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The mightiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in each episode we'll be talking inshallah ta'ala about one of Allah's exalted attributes. And we'll see how we should behave and conduct ourselves in light of this attribute. And also we will see how we should, or what is the impact of this attribute on our lives. And today inshallah, we will be talking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself to be the most great and the most high. In the Quran, Allah Taala said, "عالم الغيب والشهادة." Allah Taala is the knower of the unseen and the seen. الكبير المتعال. He is the most great and the most high. Allah Taala is the most great and the most high. سبحانه وتعالى. And He also Allah Taala said. إنه كان لا يؤمن بالله العظيم. Allah is talking about one of his slaves who was disobeying him and who was neglecting him. He said that this man he never used to believe in Allah the Most Great. He never used to comprehend that Allah Taala is the Most Great. إنه كان لا يؤمن بالله العظيم. Uh, whenever you fall in a sin and you forget Allah Ta'ala is the most great Allah Ta'ala is overwatching you Allah Ta'ala can take revenge of you Allah Ta'ala can take retaliation from you Allah Ta'ala is able to do everything so this man he was neglecting Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala and disobey him and Allah Ta'ala said إِنَّهُ كَانَ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ because the greatness of Allah Ta'ala was absent from his mind and that's why he had the courage to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, سَبِّحْ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ الْأَعْلَى So glorify Allah ta'ala, the name of Allah ta'ala who is the highest, the most high. Allah is the most high, and Allah ta'ala is the most great. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he spoke about the Mightness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you want to compare, and the hadith is a sound hadith, and uh, Albani, rahimahullah, said that it is a sound hadith. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the, if you want to compare the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth with the chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The heavens and the earth together beside the chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are like a coin thrown in a wide open land. A coin thrown in a desert. That coin is the heavens and the earth. And everything which is in between of, of them. And everything which is on them. That coin, that small coin is the heavens and the earth and that big desert and that wide open land is the chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look how small we are. 
and how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. And then he further said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you want to compare as well the chair of Allah ta'ala with his, with his throne, it is like a coin thrown in a wide open land. Subhanallah. The, the, the massive chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the great chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to compare it with his throne, is like a coin thrown in a wide open land. That coin is the chair of Allah ta'ala. And the wide open land or the desert is the, the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the throne of Allah ta'ala is the greatest creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah ta'ala is greater than the throne. And we say it in every prayer. Every time we pray we say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Allahu Akbar, if shaitan came to us, said to us, well you have business, you have something, don't pray, we say no, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Allah ta'ala is more important. We say it in every prayer. But do you understand it? Do we feel it? That Allah Ta'ala is the greatest? And we should give Him priority over everything. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran said, وَسِعَ كُرُسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Indeed, His chair extends over the heavens and the earth. وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْظُهُمَا And preserving or protecting and guarding the heavens and the earth will not require from him anything or any effort. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is holding the heavens and the earth not to collapse upon us, not to deviate. Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُمْسِكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ أَن تَزُولَا Indeed, Allah is holding the heavens and the earth not to collapse above you. And preserving them and holding them requires no effort from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْظُهُمَا And preserving them and protecting them or holding them requires nothing from him. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ And he is the most great and the most high. Tabaraka wa taqaddis. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sound hadith of Sahih Bukhari said that the whole earth, the planet of the earth, will become like a bread in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah ta'ala will double turn it, like we double turn the bread in our hands. In the day of resurrection, Allah ta'ala will double turn the earth, like we double turn the bread in our life. The, the whole earth will become like a bread in his in his hand. And Nabi Sallallahu also said in the sound hadith that in the day of resurrection, Allahumma sallam, in the day of resurrection, Allah Ta'ala will grasp the earth, will hold the earth, Allah Ta'ala will snatch the earth, and He will fold up the heavens with His right hand. The whole heavens, all of the heavens will be folded up in His right hand. Imagine this. And He will say, I am the king. Where are the kings of the earth? Where are the tyrants? Where are the tyrant? Where are the arrogant? And no one will reply to him because by then everyone will be dying. Everyone will perish away. Everyone will, will, will be dead by then. Then Allah, then He وسلم, read the verse, وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ and they have not esteemed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he has the right to be esteemed. وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْضَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And the whole earth is his handful in the day of resurrection. وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ مَطْوِيَّاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ And the seven heavens are rolled up in his right hand. سبحانه وتعالى عما يشركون Exalted is he and exalted from what they ascribe to him تبارك وتقدس Glorified is he and high exalted from what they ascribe to him So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold the heaven will, will, will fold up the heavens and will hold the earth 
in the day of resurrection. And on that day, the attributes of Allah Ta'ala will be manifested in its highest form. As Ibn Qayyim Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, that on the day of resurrection, the attributes of Allah Ta'ala will be shown in its highest form, His mercy and His power and His greatness. And then he read the verse, بارزون, the day when the, when the people will come forth will be shown to Allah. People will be shown to Allah will be will come forth before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا يخفى على الله منهم شيء. Nothing will be hidden from them before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لمن الملك اليوم. Allah ta'ala will say, to whom is the dominion today? To whom is the kingship today? And no one will reply. Allah Ta'ala will reply himself saying, لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَهَارِ The dominion today is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The kingship today is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala is the most great and the most high. Tabaraka wa taqaddas. And we all belong to him. We are all under his authority. We are all under his dominion and his power. And we should fear him the most. Allah Ta'ala, with one command, he can eradicate all of us. And he can wipe us out. One command. He is the most great. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I will end up with this, in one hadith he said, that one of the angels who burn the throne, who carry the throne, one of them, he said between his earlobes and his shoulder, between his earlobes and his shoulder, a journey of 700 years. And this is only one of Allah's creations. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. And we ask Allah ta'ala to make us comprehend his greatness. And how can we conduct ourselves in the light of uh, this attribute? First of all, we should always make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most important uh, thing in our life. Whenever you do anything, whenever you have any, any matter, make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give Allah ta'ala priority. Because Allah ta'ala is the greatest. And Allah ta'ala is able to take revenge from you any time. Allah ta'ala is so powerful. Give Him priority in your life. So we, inshallah ta'ala, we will give Allah ta'ala priority in everything that we do in our life. Because Allah ta'ala is the one who has given us life. He is the one who brought, brought us into this life. And we should fear Him the most. We should fear Him the most. We should love Him the most. We should put our trust upon Him because He's the greatest. We should always rely upon Him because He's the greatest. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. And to increase our, our knowledge. And... I will inshallah ta'ala see you soon on the best of knowledge. Wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.